Okay, so when deciding on which sport to become professional in, there are a lot of options. I mean, there are over 8,000 different kinds of sports worldwide, but I can generally say that sports fit into one of these two categories, fitness-based sports and skill-based sports. Skill-based sports are all about the technical aspect and the skills, while fitness-based sports is more about the physical component and how fit you are. Today in this video, I want to look at 12 of the most popular sports out there determining if they're skill-based sports or fitness-based sports, or even a mix of both. Football or soccer, if you're American, is a mix of athletic performance and skill. It takes great physical ability to be able to run across a 120-yard field multiple times. Football is a mix of endurance, short spurts of speed, and of course, agility. Controlling and shooting a ball takes considerable skill one couldn't imagine. It takes years of practice to achieve a level of skill only the top professionals are capable of. To me, football is a combination of both physical ability and skill, with skill being a little bit more important than football. Baseball is all about skill. Throwing, catching, and hitting a home run is actually more orientated by more technical factors like positioning than the actual physical ability. Yes, physical ability and competence do play some sort of factor in these skills. However, a lot of these activities require a lot of skill. Simply being fast or strong will not help you hit a home run. Similar to baseball, volleyball, although requiring physical competence, is more reliant on skill. Hitting, passing, and spiking volleyball require so much more than fitness, but precision, timing, and of course, power. Like baseball, volleyball requires you to be somewhat fit. However, most skills and gameplay is more reliant on the technical aspect of the sport rather than just fitness alone. Now, unlike the previous sports, where skill and fitness are both involved or where skill is a little bit more important than fitness, golf is the sport where skill is the only thing that matters. Swinging a golf stick with both accuracy and power is more reliant on skill because there is no fitness-related aspect like running, dribbling, etc. in the sport Golf is great for older individuals. Now on the other side of the spectrum, we have Marathon running, sprinting, okay literally anything that requires you to run is all about the physical component of the sport. Sure, there are some technical aspects, but running is universally understood. It does not take years to learn how to run, unlike for say shooting a penalty shot like Ronaldo or Messi. No, running is all about being in shape. Unlike some other sports where you can cover up a lack of fitness with skill, both running, there is no hiding. Martial arts in general, I'd say, are the only sport that equally represents skill and physical ability. Without skill, you can't even land a hit. And without fitness, you gas out after 5 minutes. Point is, without neither skill or fitness, martial arts is going to be a nightmare, especially if you're sparring or fighting somebody. In this case, skill and fitness are both equally as important. Like football, basketball is a mix of both skill and fitness, as you'll be running and jumping while dribbling and shooting. Like football, I believe basketball is also a little bit more skill oriented than fitness. This is true for all major team sports, so hockey, lacrosse, ultimate frisbee, and more are going to be just like this. Swinging and hitting a birdie with a racket takes considerable skill. Badminton requires power, position, and also control that you couldn't imagine until you played it. Like baseball, badminton is more skill oriented but requires some physical ability. This is also applicable to tennis, table tennis, pickleball, and other net games. Gymnastics, whenever this is rings, bar, etc., has a huge physical component. Gymnastics require crazy body weight strength but also requires skill and knowledge of body weight exercises and the techniques. I see gymnastics more fitness oriented however because of the fact that the techniques can be only learned with their prerequisite strength and fitness. I consider calisthenics, powerlifting, and other similar sports to be applied similarly. And there you have it, a quick overview of the most popular sports in terms of skill versus fitness. Sports like running and gymnastics are going to be more fitness oriented with football, basketball, MMA and other sports similar to that are going to be a mix of both. And finally, sports like badminton, volleyball, and of course golf are going to be more skill oriented. Generally, skill based sports are going to be a lot harder to learn. The skills in those sports take years to perfect and practice. If you're a beginner and want to join a sport to be fit and healthy, 
I would recommend running in gymnastics or any other fitness oriented sports because they're generally easier to get into and they help improve health better. If you're still young and want to learn a cool skill while being active, I would recommend the skill oriented sports. This includes golf, badminton, volleyball, and baseball. And finally, if you just want a mix of both, you can go for football and basketball and potentially martial arts as well. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the yes, year. Yes, Let's get yes, to 100 yes, subscribers yes, before yes. 2024. If you do not, I will come and I'll hack 